we're working with our partners at Marine Scotland and Fisheries Management Scotland, and we have a common aim. And that common aim is to find out where the salmon are going as they leave the rivers on the west coast of Scotland and head out to their feeding grounds. And by knowing this, by knowing the routes that they're taking, we can work out how better to protect these salmon. There's a huge um, international effort that's going into salmon management. Salmon are, are such a, a, an important species, not only for their economic importance, but they are, they are important in terms of, of their, their role in the ecosystems. They are, they're both predator and prey. They move nutrients uh, around, they move energy through systems, and they play a role in the, the marine ecosystems as well. What we are doing over the west coast, that we're tagging on 10 rivers between the Laxford and the Outer Hebrides right down to the Nith in Dumfries and Galloway. And we want to see where fish go when they, re when they leave the rivers and reach the sea. It's quite incredible that we're hopefully going to be able to track the path of the little smolt in the open ocean out there, you know, right out to the Outer Hebrides. The deployment plan tomorrow is leave here at 5 a.m. It's a four hour cruise to get to where they start to go over the side. And then basically we're just going to keep going until everything's, everything's deployed. They're all on very specific coordinates so we know where to go to pick them back up again. Then of course we've got the Minch and then down to Barra Point for eight of them. And, the, and then we hope to see them again in August. We need to know the roots of salmon we, because on the west coast it's a rapidly developing marine environment. Over the last 50 years we've had the growth of the aquaculture industry and in more recent times we've had renewable energy putting in more and more facilities out on the west coast of Scotland. And we need to make sure that all of that infrastructure is in an appropriate place. We've been looking at fish farm applications for example for years now saying you know whether we approve or whether we have objections on whatever grounds. The one thing we've never actually known is the path of the migratory fish on their outward journey. And, you know, in a way, we've been kind of shooting blind on this thing for years and years, and this thing could fill in the gaps. So what the receiver does is it picks up those fish migrating past when the fish have a tag implanted. So as they migrate past, the receiver will be able to detect a ping, but the receiver needs to be in a place where the river is nice and smooth, there's no ripples, and there's no man-made structures because that noise will kind of reduce the, the signal of detecting the fish. So where you put it is quite important, and also it needs to have a broad range so that if a fish swims by, it's not going to be missed. Yeah, so this is just the, our plan of where we're going to put the, 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 the equipment down. So we have um, which array it's on in different columns here, then station number, who's deploying it, we have the details of the deployment, and then the various um, different coordinates. And there's different kinds of um, receivers that we're putting down. So we're putting down a combination of receivers that, that don't automatically release uh, when they get an instruction from a hydrophone to do so. We put them in the shallower water, uh, and then as we get to deeper water, we put down these automatic rele release canisters that um, when we go back to them and we can give them a signal, they will release uh, a weak link in, from their anchor point, and then with a float, they will come to the surface and we can retrieve them. We've come together in, in this project to better understand the coastal distribution of salmon smolts so that we can better protect them moving forward. The next step is to determine how salmon are actually using this by looking at their swimming behaviour in sea. And that's why we're tagging them. From there we'll be able to improve the models that are being developed which will then in time feed into 
the planning system to be able to better protect wild Atlantic salmon. Each of the fish that are tagged in the rivers are given uh, an acoustic tag that has an individual signature. It has its own set of pings that come out, so it's individually identifiable by the receivers. So the receivers that we're putting out have got a range. So what we have to do is we have to strategically position those receivers at places along the potential migration route of the fish so that as the fish get within range, they can be picked up by the receivers and recorded and given a, a timestamp that can then relate them to that location. The smolts at this time of year, April, May, are heading out to sea. So what the par do is they, they turn silvery and they start to migrate towards the sea. So they're all going downstream basically. So what we need to do is to set a trap to catch a downstream migrating fish. And the way we do that here is using a thing called a fight net. And a fight net is just a simple net trap. When we position it in a place where the smolts get funneled into a narrow, narrow channel, and the fight net itself has wings on it at the sides and it goes into a funnel and then the funnel reduces down to a collection chamber at the back and once the smolts have entered the trap they can't turn backwards so they all have to end up at the collection chamber at the back and that's really how we trap the downstream migrating smolts and then gradually we process the fish so that's measuring the fish and then the fish that are big enough it's actually over 130 millimetres, we can tag these fish. And the ones that aren't big enough, we release back into the river. You know, if we'd just taken one or two rivers, we would have got an idea for one or two rivers. But the beauty of this project is by taking rivers right across the whole of the coast of Scotland and starting to understand how the smolts are behaving, how the fish are moving, say, from the Nith, how they're moving north. If they are moving north, we're expecting them to go, but we need to demonstrate that. And um, keeping an open mind just on how they're using this environment, because it's that that we need, it's that understanding that we need at that scale so that we can best protect them. And we really do need to protect these fish. These, the ones that we have on the West Coast are the tough survivors, and we've got a duty, all of us, all involved in this project, to really protect them, nurture them and bring them back to their former numbers.